So in this video, what I'm going to do is give you an idea of how you can utilize routing sheets to scan from MFPs or fax machines and process inbound correspondence, process them with side capture, route them into SharePoint, and then pick them up in a, an in-text workflow. So to give you an example and show you what a routing sheet looks like, this is a typical routing sheet, and it can be a combination of barcodes and checkboxes. This particular one is in production at several law firms that utilize it to route case documents and then uh, route into workflow um, either in SharePoint or other backend doc management systems. Just by checking some boxes, they can identify the user, the client ID, uh, who needs to be emailed or notified of this particular piece of correspondence. And then in the folder section, I can go ahead and check a box, and this will not only name the document, but also route it into the correct folder for filing in, in the SharePoint um, subsystem. So a lot of different things you can do here, and if you look at these particular packages, I've got two of these sheets. The other purpose that they serve is separation. So now instead of having to scan multiple documents one by one, I can split my documents with these routing sheets and they'll automatically separate when site capture picks them up and, and processes them so let me go ahead and do this this is a fully automated demo so what I'm gonna do is simulate walking up to the copier I'm gonna throw my documents in click the green button they're actually gonna go into a processing folder okay which can be a network folder it can be a SharePoint library uh, we've even got the ability to automatically integrate with uh, WriteFax servers to pull information. What happens is SiteCapture will pull this. You can see that it's queued up the document. It's ingesting it. It's going to start processing it. It's going to read the document, read all the checkboxes and the barcode information, map those to fields, and then map those to sites, libraries, columns, file naming, and folders in SharePoint all in one fell swoop. Now, once that occurs, I'll go ahead and give you an idea. I've got a legal routing document library here. And um, we'll go ahead and give it a, a minute because it's, it's actually OCRing or making those documents searchable and then routing them into the, the SharePoint repository. So it'll take a few secs to come through. So let's go ahead and refresh our browser. And you can see now, picked up, processed them, uh, based on checkboxes, we actually ran database lookups on the user ID and client ID, and I told SiteCapture to go ahead and, uh, and create folders. And you'll see I'm getting some email notifications from Nintex right now. So I went ahead and built my folders. I built a subfolder based on the folder checkbox that we checked on the routing sheet. And then I automatically named the file, which is a searchable PDF, and built out uh, the entire column structure. And you can see here one of the particular columns is a notify admin column. Now that's one of my key focus areas for processing with Nintex. Once it goes in here, there's a Nintex workflow that's going to monitor this library for new items. And actually, uh, if it finds a notification um, a column that, that is uh, checked with yes, it's going to go ahead and email. Okay, so you can see here, I've got an email that's been sent to me. Um, say that I'm the attorney or the paralegal on the case it tells me that there's a brand new file that needs to be reviewed for me and you notice that I got two of those so not only in Nintex did I kick off the workflow based on column values the other thing that I did here is if we come into my lists and go to my tasks I auto created a task so you can see that there's multiple tasks here I've done this demo several times um, some of the things that I could also do, I could auto build a due date to make sure that the attorney, um, you know, doesn't miss the due date. I've got the ability to um, to create these within uh, an Outlook environment as well to make sure that the task gets assigned, and I can do other complex uh, functionalities within the workflow as well. If I wanted multiple people to see it and review it, and set up multiple steps within the workflow for. Uh, review and acceptance we could do that as well okay so now let's go back into site capture now that I've shown you how the whole workflow works um, let's go into the product and what we'll do is I'll give you an idea of uh, interactively how that happened in the background 
Okay, so now that we've seen the whole process automatically, let's go ahead and, um, and go through interactive steps and I'll show you how the processing happened behind the scenes with SciCapture. So you can use SciCapture either in an automated fashion like I just showed you or you can uh, perform um, interactive processing. So in interactive processing you have the ability to, to check the information, you can have interactive um, column population steps where you can uh, populate with real-time feeds from SharePoint or database lookups or or things like that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's open this doc type. And then what I'll do is go ahead and uh, navigate to my my samples directory which I've got here. And within the samples directory I've got uh, that sample PDF that we discussed. So let's go ahead and grab that sample batch and we'll go ahead and bring in the same exact file that I showed you um, at the beginning of the demo. And you'll see as the documents come in uh, they're actually gonna split where those routing sheets are. So you can see that I picked up a single PDF and automatically split that apart. And then I'm going to move on through the workflow. The next step is indexing, and that's actually the step that's going to auto-identify data. So you can see I actually read those checkboxes on the routing sheet. I perform a database lookup to a database that has username mapping to user ID, and then client ID to client name. And then based on the checkboxes below, you can see that... Um, I choose which admin to notify and then I've also got a database that brings back my email address obviously for for all the different notifications and then I read my uh, my other info you can see I go through both of the documents both of the cover sheets to collect this information now behind the scenes all this is done automatically and uh, some people may say well what if the the routing sheets not filled out correctly or there's there's issues with it there's a couple ways to do that uh, you can handle that within SciCapture. We can actually send an exceptions notice if somebody has forgotten to fill in a number or the number doesn't meet a certain criteria. The other thing that a lot of our customers do is they'll actually route it into uh, another uh, folder or library in SharePoint. Maybe it's uh, you know the error folder and you can set up workflows to send out notifications if something gets dropped in there as well. So as long as you train your users, it's a pretty painless process that can go on. So anyway, that's an overview of uh, using routing sheets to route inbound correspondence using some of the complexities in SciCapture to give you some really slick functionality as you pass these documents to a digital workflow. Thanks. If you have any questions, contact sales at SciGen.com.